crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for crackberry.com with the new BlackBerry Torch 9860. Uh, it's one of my first times really just sitting down and playing with it, so we're going to walk through it together now and uh, see what's happening in RIM's newest full touchscreen device. And the big thing is the name change, right? This is now a Torch 9860. The Storm brand is long and dead. Uh, and the torch is no longer just a slider. It basically represents RIM's, you know, full touchscreen experience devices. Uh, but since this is the, you know, follow-up to the Storm series, we're going to start with a little look at the Storm 2 and uh, compare them together just so you can get a, a, a taste of where things have changed here. So, obviously gone is the clickable screen. This is now a full touchscreen experience. Just to look at the form factor quick, you can see RIM's lengthened out the device a little. It's a 3.7 inch display here. Actually 480 by 800 pixels of uh, resolution. It's the highest resolution BlackBerry on the market. And it's now built on you know, the BlackBerry 7 platform which got a really big hardware boost. So it's running a 1.2 gigahertz Scorpion processor on top of the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. So there is a dedicated GPU which enables these ac hardware accelerated graphics. It's really nice. Um, you know, high resolution. It's a big looking display for a BlackBerry, right? It's totally, totally kind of different. Uh, getting back to the, the comparison quick, just to see the difference in length, you can see how it's been thinned out. Uh, and it's a pretty light device. The Storm was a tank, and this is really light in the hand. It feels a lot nicer. It's thinner, just a very nice form factor. We'll compare it really quick here just to the size of the iPhone to put into perspective so you can see how things stack up. I think the uh, Torch actually has a slightly longer display there and from the back and from the sides. One thing to note about the Torch's display also is that it's not glass, it's actually made of a hardened plastic and uh, you know that's what keeps the weight down and also allows for a little bit nicer sculpting on the phone. Uh, speaking of sculpting, well, let me kill the display for a second. I want to talk about this too. So this form factor is really cool. You know, it feels good in the hand in portrait, but RIM really made it feel great in the hand in landscape. You can see how they sculpted it out, and it's like a game controller. So if you're playing game, like racing games or anything like that, uh, or just even holding the phone with one hand, it's not this kind of slippery slab. Like it just feels good. You can you can very easily hold, navigate, you know, tap. They did a really great job in that on that form factor. Um, you know, you can see too, BlackBerry Seven. The web browsing is a lot quicker on it, and you can just see how much more size you have here when looking at a website um, you know web browser this this software build I don't believe is actually the newest on this uh, pre-release unit we can check out the BlackBerry Bold 9900 review that went up today but uh, web browsing on BlackBerry 7 is a lot faster it's about 40 percent quicker than BlackBerry 6 100 percent quicker than BlackBerry 5 OS 5 we've done some comparisons against iPhone and uh, Android and it's it's there now you know it's a lot better than it used to be it's uh, not a hundred percent as quick as I'd like still I want them to, to win the competition but it's a much more friendly usable browser getting out of the browser uh, let's take a look around the rest of the device hardware so obviously on the front you have this nice touch screen display At the top you got your good old crack light blinking LED at the bottom, one big difference here is the addition of the trackpad to the experience. So it's not a full touchscreen in the sense that the Storm, you know, you never had that. You still have it on the uh, the Torch, which I really like because, you know, one, it, it makes it more recognizable as a BlackBerry in a sea of, you know, big touchscreen devices. But you still have one-handed ease of use. You know, you really don't need to, uh, you know, unless you're typing, you still have full navigation here. Oh, what's this email? RIM Board of Directors, just letting you know, guys, I want to be on the board. See at the AGM, from me to, whoa, I better not show those emails. Damn. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should pull that up again, actually, just to uh, take a look at the keyboard here. So you do have a portrait keyboard, and you do have the horizontal keyboard. Uh, as for the typing skills of Crackberry Kevin on this display, um, it's not so good, but I haven't really practiced too, too much on it. Um, let's give it a go though. I do know if you trust in the spell check, you'll probably do better than if you don't. So I will type, hey, there, this is Kevin from, well, Crackberry, let's see what it does. That doesn't look good. Yeah, so anyways, it's, it's not a bad keyboard. 
don't judge it by me because I'm not good on it, but it, that's a, a decent look at what the keyboard looks like. Um, back to other stuff. Yeah, hardware. So around the rest of the phone, you got a single button at the top which powers the display on and off. You can have your single here micro USB charging port on the side. At the bottom, you got your little speaker out. That's where all your, your audio music and uh, speaker phone is going to come from. On the right side, it's pretty interesting here. Uh, you almost can't even see the buttons. You can feel them with your hand. This is the right side convenience key, which is going to turn on the camera. Uh, you got your volume up, down, and a little mute key in the button. And those serve as, you know, play, pause, and, and forward, back on music. You got your headset uh, port. On the back, you've got the 5 megapixel camera with autofocus. So, it, you know, on the Bull 9900, there's no autofocus. They have to scrap it to keep the device thin, but it is present here. You got a camera flash. At the bottom, you got your battery door, which kind of you push that down and it pops up. Made of metal. I guess contributes to the strength of the device. The JM1 1230 milliamp battery, same as in the 9900. You got your uh, micro SD card slot. Uh, the battery is a little, I don't know, I've been having trouble getting it out. I tried to pop it out and you got to kind of push down further, move those pins and then pry it, but it's a tight fit. I don't know. Tight batteries. I'm having bad luck with uh, under the under the battery doors on this round of device reviews. And let me just fix that up quick. This is a one take, no excuses video here. Uh, I think that kind of covers the main stuff. You know, what we should talk about too is some of the other benefits of BlackBerry 7. Uh, you know, we talked about the web browser is much improved. Another thing we have is HD video recording, 720p. Uh, so we can switch the video camera here. And, uh, you know, let's. Uh, uh, it took a little while. Not sure why this device isn't running as snappy as my 9900 was. Hey everybody, Kevin recording an HD video here. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should record it as something like my 9900. Looks good. Stop that. Player back. Hey everybody, Kevin recording an HD video here. Do, 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 do. Maybe I should record it as something like my 9900. Looks good. Stop that. There you go. Uh, so we looked at the keyboard, we looked at the web browser, we looked at the uh, HD video recording. You know, maybe I'll pull this back open just so you can see again that the, uh, the camera does in fact have, oops, take another one, does in fact have autofocus. So you can see it's on single shot mode. So we can, and again, I should be turning the flash off on those. Um, you know, on the platform too, you have your magnetometer, for the, which gives you sort of digital compass. Uh, 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 you have a digital, yeah, digital compass, orientation sensors for things like Wicketude, which are easily attainable for the device. What else do we have? What else do we have? I don't know. It's BlackBerry 6 on steroids for BlackBerry 7. Big touch screen. Um, you know, you have some other things like voice audio search, which is kind of handier. Status. And uh, it only works when, dear Scott, that's not what I want. Let's try this again. Status. I'm going to check out the battery life. Oh, there it is, the option menu for status. And we're at 50%. Cool. So that's voice audio search. This is the BlackBerry Torch 9860. It is a proper touchscreen experience. We could we could check out some video. Uh, let's check out some videos in that. That makes sense. So picture library, not a lot in here yet. Again, I haven't actually put this. Uh, I think that's pictures of furniture. I was looking for wallpapers to you put on here, but I went with the default one. <laughs> Uh, video. Let's see if there's video. Get a good gander at this uh, display minus the bear. Volume's not too bad. Maybe I can uh, 
Huh, I think that's it. Ten minutes. Let's call us a quit. Uh, let's call it quits. That's it for the Torch 9860. Uh, we'll do a more longer, better re review once I've spent some time on this. But this is really a first good, quick, ten-minute look. Uh, and i got to get this thing up and running. Uh, but I want my co commercially purchased unit, which this is not. So keep in mind this doesn't yet have, you know, the software that it'll ship with. And it's not carrier branded. Cool? All right. Kevin out.